If you're looking for auto completion like none other, GitHub Copilot could be your answer. Copilot can seamlessly fit into NeoVim and provide real-time auto completion and function suggestions. And to be honest, sometimes it feels like magic. Copilot, however, is not a silver bullet, but I think it has some excellent use cases. And in this video, I'll explain how to install Copilot and how to get the best use out of it. Now, GitHub Copilot is a bit of a bad boy. It's an AI codex trained infamously on billions of lines of open source code. But to be honest, the controversy behind Copilot has been discussed many times. So instead of beating that dead horse, I'd encourage you to do your own research on the topic and see how you feel about the whole ordeal. Personally, I wanted to see if GitHub Copilot was a good tool to use with my NeoVim setup. And after using this for a few days, I can confidently say that yes, it is amazing, but only for certain things. Let me explain a bit more about what I mean soon. But first, let's go over how to install and set up GitHub Copilot. Please make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into it. So now let's install GitHub Copilot. The requirements state that you need either NeoVim or the latest patch of Vim installed. As of this point in time, that latest patch is 9.000185 and you need Node.js. I'm assuming you have both of these things, but if you don't have Node.js, just install it using your favorite package manager. I like to use ASDF. Anyways, what we're gonna wanna do is install the github slash copilot.vim package in our packer configuration file. So let's open up Vim, go to our package configuration file and use github copilot.vim. Now, if we source this file within NeoVim and then run packer sync, github copilot is now installed as a package in NeoVim. After that, you're going to wanna quit Vim and then reopen Vim and call copilot setup. This will authenticate you to GitHub and allow you to start using Copilot. Now I'm already authenticated, so it's just showing me a message that I'm already authenticated, but otherwise you would have to go through the steps to authenticate yourself to GitHub and sign up for Copilot. As of right now, there's a free 30 day trial and then it's $10 a month after that. But once you are authenticated, Copilot is ready to go. So without further ado, let's stretch out our fingers, open up our MacBook, open up NeoVim, and let's jump right in. Now, GitHub Copilot bills itself as a tool that can auto-complete functions like some kind of wizard. If you start typing the name of a function, it will just automatically know what arguments you want, and based on your code and previous history, it'll guess what you need in the function body itself. Personally, I found that use case a bit cumbersome. First, you have to get the name of the function just right in order for Copilot to guess what you're trying to do. This isn't a bad thing, because it's always good practice to have nice descriptive names for functions and variables, but it can be annoying to have to rename functions, read what Copilot guesses, erase, and start over. For me, the absolute killer feature of GitHub Copilot is auto-completion of built-in language functions. Let's look at an example. I work mostly in Ruby as an API dev for my current job. However, I like to write a lot of JavaScript code for all my side projects. It can get really easy to forget specific syntax of a JavaScript map function versus a Ruby map function if I haven't written one out in a little while. Copilot's ability to autocomplete something like a map function is unbelievable. I don't have to look up any syntax online and I don't have to expand snippets just to see what the input should be. Copilot puts it right there in front of my face and guesses all of the arguments and variables I need. And usually with these things, it's correct. It's really incredible. But what else is incredible is this NeoVim setup that you see in front of you. If you want to see how I configured this NeoVim setup, check out this video next. And let me know in the comments if you think Copilot is worth it or not. I think it is. Thanks.